welcome back to No Tears Frontiers Diaries. In this episode, I think you have the right look because we're going to talk about going to the Florida Keys. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Today we are in lovely Colorado. It's amazing. And um, it was just not that long ago that we were actually down at mile zero of the Florida Keys, yeah. which is pretty impressive. It's the southernmost point of the United States that you can get to by road, the continental United States. And Key West, indeed. Yeah, and I had never been there. Um, I really kind of had this dream of riding there. Once I saw on the map that all of these little islands are connected by a road, I thought, you know, that's got to be such an incredible drive. And the more I looked into it, we heard about Seven Mile Bridge and just these bridges that are surrounded by water on every side. And I was like, Tim, we got to go. I know it's the height of summer in Florida, but we got to go. <laughs> and I'm not usually one to just do something because it is a thing to do, like the, mm. the furthest point, rah, rah. but uh, it... I remember the keys from when my buddy Andrew Neal used to have a band down there and be the house band. And so there were some, some good memories, let them be drunken party memories, and now I'm an adult. <laughs> but uh, she wanted to do the Seven Mile Bridge, and I said, well, let's do it. That should be cool. But then who goes to the Seven Mile Bridge and doesn't go all the way to Key West? So right. we, uh, we ended up going. Now there are a couple of uh, drawbacks with the Keys, one of which is not anything that it can help, but the nature of it is that they are a bunch of very small islands, and so there's not a lot of land, which means that it can get quite expensive there, especially to stay overnight. Um, real estate is at a premium. So uh, there are some incredible state parks and even yeah. a national park, and um, there are campsites but they were all booked well in advance. Yeah, everybody had to itch to kind of get out, you know, yeah. and, and get back into nature. And not only is everything kind of on these little tiny dots as they break off from the Florida Peninsula, but like there's an artery in and then there's one way out. And so if, yes, you know, traffic is not necessarily my, my you know, <laughs> favorite thing. <laughs> favorite thing. And when it's 180 bazillion degrees yeah, with the humidity index humid. of mercury, it's just, <laughs> you know, it's not, it wasn't a very pleasant ride back because it was like the last day of uh, mm. lobster season. I'm not sure, but a bunch of huge boats were, were coming back out and it really clogged yeah. everything up. But. So those are a couple of the drawbacks. And when we planned this out, we realized that, yeah, especially with traffic, it does take a long time to get all the way to Key West. And if we weren't going to stay overnight due to everything being booked and very high prices, then it was going to be a long drive coming all the way yeah. out of the Keys. But luckily, we had our friend Leo, who... Uh, is from Miami and he let us stay with him in Miami and so we used that as a base point. Now we had traveled with Leo uh, in Africa and we had even lived with him during the pandemic when we were stuck in Uganda and so he was a very close friend of ours and it was really awesome to meet up with him as a fellow motorcycle traveler and all the time we spent together.
So that was very generous of him to let us use this place as a jumping off point to the Keys in Miami. So with going to and from Miami and all the way out to Key West in one day, it was about eight hours of mm -hmm. riding, I would say. Eight hot hours. It was, it was, <laughs> it was pretty, right? And you know, uh, some of my concern was after 20 minutes of riding on a bridge, the next three hours of riding on a bridge is going to be fairly <laughs> similar to the first 20 minutes. But, you know, it was pretty and every little uh, key had kind of a different vibe to it. Yeah. We, about halfway through, we pulled over at this little Cuban coffee oh, spot. Yeah. Um, really lovely people. So and Cuban coffee is like its own thing we've discovered. It is. And it has its own little process. And um, they Enough. were also selling a traditional Cuban food there. Yeah. Like croquetas, which are like mozzarella sticks, but filled with yummy things like fish or pork or um, I think even beans and cheese. So um, those were really delicious for yeah. us to try. And they were nice enough to make me standard American coffee because <laughs> I like to drink coffee and like, you know, like I always compare it to like drinking beer versus whiskey, right? Like I enjoy the whole social thing of it. And if I'm just mm. pounding shots of whiskey, by the time I know what's going on, I'm, you know, I'm no longer pleasant to be around. And same yeah, with Cuban coffee really strong, strong coffee, you know, it's like I, mm -hmm. You know, it's like so an espresso um, shot, I think. Indeed. Yeah, but you got your Café Americano. I got my Café Americano. And you got to speak some Spanish. <laughs> yeah, pathetically, but I, it was there. And that was a really great little place to stop at. Like once we got into the Keys, we realized everything was kind of expensive mm -hmm. because of all the obvious things, and I'm not yeah. telling anybody not to go there, but you know, we rode in, we went to the little uh, uh, concrete thing that says, you know, 90 miles from Cuba. Yeah, so when you get all the way to the end, Key West, Key West um, is a very built up and developed island with a lot of history, uh, and it does have that concrete, it kind of looks like a buoy. It's like yeah. the marker that says, this is the southernmost point of the United States. It's how many miles from Cuba? 90. Yeah, that's really crazy. And, um, and everybody gets their little Instagram selfie photo yeah. with it behind it. Um, and speaking of like everybody, it was quite literally, there was a line of people yeah. standing in the heat and so we kind of did a quick drive by and got it on, <laughs> on the GoPro, but. Right. If people don't believe us, cause we don't have that one picture of us in front yeah, of it, then like, then, oh well. Then that's fine. <laughs> yes. But we were there and, um, it is also the beginning of mile zero of the U.S. highway system, which I think is pretty cool. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah. So we um, rode around. Was... Key West is really interesting. It has like really beautiful architecture. Um, it has this kind of Key West style to it of the placard board, kind of beach look houses with pastel colored shutters. And um, it also has a lot of Hemingway history to it. Hemingway did have uh, six-toed cats 
which I think is really interesting, and they've all kind of bred together to make more six-toed cats. So now there's inbred <laughs> six-toed cats running around. Apparently, the US. we didn't have enough time to go visit no. his house, but <laughs> we got in, kind of did a quick loop, enjoyed mm -hmm. it, um, and then then kind of exited Key West within an, an hour of messing around, uh, yeah. you know, because it's it's fairly expensive and just a park is also fairly expensive, so I didn't want to pay 20 bucks because I'm just cheap to, to you know, kind of walk around and, and and there was no need for a, a t-shirt. We, we absorbed it, we did the thing that we wanted to do, it was beautiful, and then I really wanted to get back to that little Cuban coffee shop. That was yeah, it was so nice. kind then we rode to more of a Disneyland that was Key West and I wanted yeah. to get back to the little nice sweet Cuban lady that was very <laughs> kind to me so all in it's all more of our vibe yeah so, so it was my a good day. favorite part though were the bridges because um, they just go over this gorgeous colored water like crystal clear um, you can see the mangrove forests and sometimes you can see the sandy bottoms and it was just really beautiful. It was a unique experience feeling like you were riding and floating over the ocean. For sure. So yeah, it was really a dream of mine to go all the way to Key West and kind of hit that mile marker of zero and I'm so glad that we took that day to do yeah, that. For sure. I'm glad Marissa pushed me over the edge on things that I'm like, <laughs> eh, whatever, I don't really care. And she's like, oh, come on, no, it'll be fun. And then they turn out to be really, really fun. And I'm like, well, thank, thank God one of us is level-headed. <laughs> now, one day in the future it would be nice to actually absorb it in the time that it takes to really get to know the Florida Keys. Um, but in the time that we had, I think that was still a very fun experience For driving sure. through in a day. Yeah. Yeah, and so we headed back to Miami. Luckily, we didn't get caught in too much traffic. There was still quite no, a bit of traffic. there was quite a traffic. bit. That was an intense amount of traffic. Okay, it was an intense amount of traffic. I kept diving down like the residential roads, residential roads that only swung out per key just a little bit. Mm. And that was quicker than waiting in the line of these boats with these mega yachts yeah. I caught, you know, so. A lot of cars with boats. It was really, really hot in my little yeah, Power Ranger suit and sitting still. It just, you sweat and sweat and sweat, but we yeah. made it back. It was worth it. It was definitely worth it. <laughs> So I hope you liked this episode. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below. And I hope to see you next time where we have a really incredible adventure in Florida. Dun, dun, dun. Also another country. <laughs> so we'll see you next time. Be safe, everybody. Bye. Peace.